what's up guys guys lee back with another video in this video we'll be talking about how you can get the ruinous effigy exotic trace rifle in destiny 2 season of arrivals now real quick i want to apologize first time doing a video in a while i totally screwed up all my recordings today from doing the quest so i'm just going to explain it to you which honestly it's super simple uh, i'm just going to give you some uh, kind of quick tips on certain sections as we go along and how to get it so i'll just throw some uh, b-roll in of me using the weapon and probably go into some of these locations as i bring them up so if you're playing season arrivals and you're used to the weekly you know go to the recaster get the quest do the contact mission do the umbral traces do the mission get your pinnacle same thing as every week you're going to be doing that again here uh the only thing that's going to kind of draw your eyes the fact that zavala is going to have a another mission going on that you can go do with him now you can grab that if you want to but if you want to avoid all that and kind of keep it out of your director and just focus on getting this awesome weapon then i would just go straight to the recaster by the drifter pick up the uh, quest and go ahead and start going to do the contact uh, public event that's going to be on titan everything is moved to titan now and you're going to notice that there's pyramid ships on all four of the left side of the map uh, all four of the planets so you're going to have mars mercury titan and uh, io are going to have pyramid ships now so you're going to go do the contact event you're going to probably, probably about do two of them or so just so you can get through that part then it's going to have you collect umbral traces yet again which is going to require you to play either gambit gambit prime reckoning escalation protocol to get those in i would recommend tier three S, uh reckoning uh tier three reckoning is going to get you through in about two to three depending on how many kills you get and what all you do um and usually and there's a ton of people playing it right now so that should uh, help you get it through too because there's another quest step later that'll have you play it as well once you do that and you get all your humble traces then it's going to have you go to io and do the means to an end mission now this mission should be the exact same as it is for each week it's, it's going to be a mission you've probably already done except at the very end of it you're going to get a different dialogue from eris and you're going to have a different little cut scene there as well uh between her and uh, zavala um well it's not a cut scene but he does show up um, so you'll have all that stuff happening um, and then after you're done with that i can't remember if it gives you the quest step then or if you have to go back to the recaster and pick up your pinnacle and then get it but you'll get it right after that somewhere in one of those areas after you get that then you're going to move on to the specific stuff so the first thing you're going to have to do is do two things collect calcified light fragments on the four different planets on the left side and then also kill savathun's marionettes on io and titan so first do the calcified light fragments those are simple and easy to do on each four planets, or each of the four planets that have pyramid ships, any of the patrol areas are gonna have these calcified fragments. And you can find them very easily by pulling up your ghost, and it's gonna show you a little marker uh, telling you where all of them are. So just go to every patrol area on every one of those planets, and it'll tell you exactly where all of them are. Just make sure you do kind of a perimeter sweep, so that way all of them pop up for your ghost, and you'll be able to get every single one of them. There's 25 of them. Uh, there's a couple in each different patrol area on all four of the pl uh, planets themselves. Once you've collected all of those, then you need to kill Savathun's marionettes. Now, you may be able to do some of these while you're collecting the uh, calcified fragments. So on Io and Titan are where they're going to spawn. I did all of mine on Io, flipping back between the two patrol zones on the south, I guess, western side of the map. Uh, the one where Asher Miri is, basically the, where the two contact um, events happen on Io. I just kept going back and forth between those basically you'll either have um a uh let's say a wizard or sorry a witch you'll have a witch uh no it's a wizard sorry you'll either have a wizard or an ogre um or even the two knights that you know you have to get them close together to fight them or a centurion and it'll be a yellow bar and they'll be roaming the map um you'll see other people attacking them you also may see a taken blight pop up uh, that you'll need to destroy to get them to activate there'll be all kinds of different things that you'll see that'll be different than what you're used to um, that'll activate these people but just keep driving around your sparrow until you meet up with them if you have the two knights you have to get the two knights close enough together to drop the shield and then once you kill them an overload um, champion is going to spawn and that's what you need to kill so you'll also see an ogre running around that's a yellow bar ogre you kill that ogre you're going to have another uh, overload spawn there's going to be a centurion boss that spawns with a blight you have to kill the blight to knock his shield down then once you kill him a marionette will spawn um i think that's all the ones that really spawn in those locations there may be other ones but basically you have to kill a boss for the overload um specific enemy to spawn and then once you kill the overload marionette that counts towards your progress so once you do 15 of those then you move on to the final step which is where you have to do three more things and you're done 
The first thing is to do reckoning runs. The second is void damage kills. And the third is chain precision multi kills. Now I would do reckoning tier three again. If you do that, then you're gonna get um, that portion completed in three runs. Also, if you'll put on all void weapons that you can, so I would say like uh, gnawing hunger, guillotine, stuff like that, and even your um, void supers as well. Those are gonna help you get the void kills. And then lastly, with the precision multi kills, I did it with the gnawing hunger. Now on the reckoning, the thrall that come the, during the bridge portion are not gonna count, um, but you're probably gonna finish the reckoning first and then you're gonna finish the void kills. I would recommend two lost sectors to you. The first one is gonna be when you go to Io where Asher Mir is. It's gonna be the one right to the left when you first start where Asher Mir is at. That lost sector is good for a lot of enemies because you got the taken scions that can multiply. And then you've also got the lost sector on Mars. If you land on the south loading zone, when you first spawn up on the hill to your right is a uh, lost sector there where some um, cabal guys are stationed. That's also another good one where there's a lot of little enemies that you can chain precision kills. Once you do all three of those things, and I think this whole thing took me maybe four hours or so. And while I was doing that, I was doing other things as well. So maybe it's even less time than that. Once you do all of those things, then boom, you're going to be done. You're going to go back to the recaster. It's going to give you your ruinous effigy. And man, is it amazing. Not only are you getting a void trace rifle that destroys people, whenever you kill something with it, it drops an orb. And this orb has a light, a heavy attack, and a defensive attack. I'm not, I don't even really care much about the light and heavy attacks. You can basically dunk orbs on enemies and blow them up. But the defensive attack is where you guard kind of like you would with a sword and it puts a bubble shield around you as you carry it and it defends you from enemies. Um, and while it does that, it also drains the life from those enemies. And so while you're draining and getting healed up, it's got an ammo counter at the bottom that's separate from the weapon itself. Each orb is going to have its own ammo and it's 21. Once you get it down to one ammo left, it's going to start hurting you as you're trying to defend or guard. At that point, you need to get rid of it and move on and get another one or do something else. Maybe have a teammate do something else. But for that duration of that 21 ammo, you are going to be protected and you're going to be taking out enemies as well. So, I mean, even with that, for raid bosses that you can get up close to is going to be amazing with your whole team. Um, so I can definitely see this uh, weapon shaking up the whole game pretty much, especially in Crucible somehow. So guys, that's it. That's how you get the Ruinous FG Exotic Trace Rifle. Uh, in my opinion, one of the greatest weapons ever made. A uh, bunch have been doing really good lately with the exotic weapons. I've been very pleased with them. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, guys. And I will see you in the next video.